Uh, it's a training center for welders. Uh, it's a 13-week program. It was started with the view on offshore wind because we know there will be a need for welders all along the East Coast. Short term, we knew that there were capacity uh, and there were jobs at the local shipyard, Chesapeake Shipbuilding. We knew there were jobs at Delaware Elevator. We have people at uh, short term employed. Uh, we have people at Cambridge International. Um, and so what we do is basically we tend about take about 20 people, uh, put them into training. Um, do not need to have any experience in welding before, uh, but it's a tough program. It takes 13 weeks and they do come out ready for an entry position for a welding job, which is a good paying, um, good, is a good paying profession. Um, three things, I think. First of all, we want the guys to train our welders, right? We make, make these welders. Um, so that's one thing. Second thing was that we see the great opportunities with offshore wind. Um, there's big business opportunities with it. Also, we knew that we lack welders in this area. There is no welding program unless you do a CTE program at Parkside. So it's, um, it's a skilled trade, and skilled trades right now, we're lacking that kind of training or the availability for training on the Eastern Shore. Um, first of all, I have to say that I'm not the only one doing this. It's done together with Warwick, the quality staffing. We had enormous community support. Um, this is not one person doing this. This is a group getting together. We have the Local Workforce Alliance um, also involved with this. And so it's not one person doing this. It's a group. And um, in general, we, ha we are on our seventh class. Uh, so I would think that we graduated about 70, 75 pe people, and we have an 84% placement rate, which is absolutely extraordinary. And they also get jobs that's paying more than um, the general market in on the Eastern Shore.